Welcome to Synapsis for Tiny Solutions. In this video, we are going to quickly introduce the simulation of forward biosing uptilt electronic demodulators in Centaur TCAT and our self-autonic device tools. So what is uptilt electronic devices? The most popular devices for uptilt electronic devices is photodetector and modulators. They are the backbone of the photonic integrated circuits. And modulators require regorgeous process simulation to design the geometry and the implants and resulting doping profiles. Regorgeous electronic device simulation is then needed to calculate the carrier density at an applied voltage. And regorgeous optical simulation is then needed to determine the index perturbation due to the carriers and then how the device will shift to the optical phase. However, not only the free carrier changes the reflective index, the heat induced by self-heating effects impacts the reflective index as well, but in an opposite direction. So for example, this is the IV curve for optical electronic devices for modulators, and it's obvious that for a zero biosim, the temperature inside this modulator is equal to the ambient temperature, that is 300K, but when we increase the voltage to one and one and a half volt, as you see here, it's clear and obvious the latent temperature is getting higher. In order to design a full 3D optoelectronic modulators in multi-phases domain, Synapsis integrate Centora TCAT and our self-device tools to be an integrated platform. So for the simulation flow, users are able to create their geometry by SDE and the doping profile by S process based on the fabrication process. And users are able to use S devices to calculate the dead carrier density distribution, latest temperature distribution based on different applied voltage. And then this model will be sent to our sub CAD to calculate the index perturbation and you don't need to worry about the data transformation because the data is common in these two device tools. So that is, you only need to care about you put a model into our so BIMPROP BPM, run a simulation, get a result. In this project, two scenarios were set up. The first one is the phase delay with applying a 1.5 volt voltage with turning on the self-heating effect and the other one is the same project with turning off the self-heating effect. It's obvious that the output phase will dramatically move to an opposite direction because of the change of index by heat. And this is for the high current situation. So it's obvious that I see that for low current situation, the carrier effect dominates, but for the high current situation, the heat dominates. And for the cases with always low current biosing, like reverse biosing, the difference between these two scenarios is not that obvious. So for this project, it's obvious that the heat matters for high voltage situation. So the conclusion for this video is the self-heating effect generates the heat in optical electronic devices when the driving current is higher and it changes the trade of output optical phase. Synapsis pro provide a foundry verified 3D multi-phases platform for designing optoelectronic devices with considering carrier and his induced index changes with regorgeous physics models in a single workbench. So now in Centaur's workbench, users are able to create their models by SDE as prices and simulate the performance in S devices. And users are always able to use our Sophotony device tools like Full Wave FTDD and BIMPRA BPM in Centaur Wallbench to simulate the optical performance. So this is this video. We would like to introduce the simulation platform. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for your attention.